Hey y'all, guess what? It's Tuesday, but it's not just any Tuesday. You know why? Because today, I've got a fajita kit. That's right, I've got a canteen cup, I've got a fajita kit, and we're gonna make canteen cup fajitas. You know what else? We're gonna do them vegan. They didn't have the meat I wanted, so I'm rolling with portobello mushroom caps, some onion, a red bell pepper, and a little lime to squeeze off on the guys. Here we go, okay? Y'all ready? Come on, let's cook. Hey, look here, for starters, let's look and see what I got in this kit. Get my mushrooms out of the way. It says it has the flour tortillas, some fajita sauce, and the seasoning mix. All right, so there's my flour tortillas. And you know what, they're in a Mylar bag, so you could just set that close to the fire and get those warming up while you're cooking. That's cool. Ah, my seasoning. And there's a little sauce to put on the guys. So see there, we break all this up amongst some people and everybody towed a few things and we're ready to feed like four or five people. Now, as a general rule, my understanding, when you're doing these big portobello mushroom caps, you want to get rid of those gills. So I'm going to take my camp spoon and scoop those out. Now, you can leave them in. They won't hurt you, but you're going to get kind of a muddy flavor in your mushroom cap from them. And honestly, I don't know how bad it is because I've read that tip and I've always cut them out. So... So you tell me, if you make portobello mushrooms and you leave those gills in there, see that's all we're doing, just scrape them out real quick, and it's not a big deal, let me know, I'd be curious to know that. Let's see. see, I'm cutting these guys down into slices about like that, can you see that? Cutting those guys down in slices about like so. And this is going to be like my uh, steak or my chicken in my fajita. Now I got to thinking about fajitas last night at work. And I was like, what an awesome idea. You could do so much with it and go so many different directions. Anytime I have friends who are preparing a uh, meal for somebody and they're worried about I need some something that can be vegetarian and something for the meat eaters and something for the gluten people I always suggest taco bars because you can just put a bunch of stuff out there and whatever your diet needs are you can make a taco to work or a little salad or something it's really easy so this is a great way to provide a meal for a group of people and cover all those special diets if uh, now the flour tortillas, they're going to have gluten, but you can get corn tortillas, and corn doesn't have any gluten. Now onions out on the trail are kind of a bittersweet thing to me. If you're not going to use this whole onion, it, you don't want to cut half of that and have all that strong smell in your bag afterwards. So that's why you use, see me using the shallots a lot because they're small and I can just get a couple shallots for however much I need. And what I'm doing right now is I'm dividing this in half. I'm going to season up. one of these in my bag but I think I'm only going to be able to cook st filling for one fajita at a time in my canteen cap. Man look at that big old pretty bell red bell pepper. Isn't that nice? Kind of a quick way to go if you want to cut some strips. You slice the top and the bottom off of that bell pepper. Then you can get in here and you can cut the ribs. 
which will release that center section with all those seeds. We're honestly only probably going to need about half of this seasoning. You know, I'm camp measuring. You see this, right? Let's see, now my olive oil. I need to save, I need to reserve part of that. So now let's just take that Ziploc baggie and let's just let's just move that guy around. Get that oil on there and get some seasoning on there. And you know what? If you run short on your oil at camp and you want to saute up some vegetables you can saute in just a teeny bit of water that's a trick a lot of people who are vegan use and they're oil free they don't want to use the oils they'll saute in just a little bit of just a littlest bit of uh, water And I'm going to use that trick because I don't have a lot of oil. I'm going to put just a little bit of water in here. Just a little palm full. Maybe two. Just a, something to give this something to start cooking in so it doesn't burn to the bottom of our pan. When you're cutting these lemons and limes, slow down and let the knife do the work for you. It gets slippery and it's easy to cut yourself. Alright, the first one's about cooked. We're just going to warm that tortilla up a hair. For wow, I got way more stuffing than I need. Look at there, toasted that one up, y'all. That's all right, that's gonna be good. Lime for that guy. We need a little sauce. How the water saute works, y'all. Yeah, I think this batch here is about ready too. We're gonna hit that guy with some lime. Yeah, baby. A little bit of that fajita sauce. One more, we're going to have our stack. I don't think that bell pepper is going to fit. We're just going to eat him. Mm. Oh, it's good.
fajita stacks. And now look, if you're out at camp, and man, well, hold on, wait, let's try one of these guys. Oh man. Oh, that's good stuff. Man. You don't have to have beef and chicken. That right there is money. Man. See, I put a napkin in a pocket someplace. I'm going to need it. Oh, wow. Man, that's good. Look here. If you're out on the trail at camp and you're cooking up some vegan fajitas and you got a nice cold mountain stream running by you and you happen to be cutting some limes up, you should go to the creek and see if there's an accompaniment to go with your fajitas that's ready to harvest. And that's just what I did. So since I've got limes and I've got fajitas, oh, it's good. Fresh out of the creek. Look here, I'm going to finish eating supper and we'll see you on the trail. Mmm.